I'm Ted Keyes in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my Tuesday conference call, a free high-powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top producing freight agents. Go to tedkeysonline.com for complete call information. Then join us weekly to see new, serious, struggling, and experienced sales professionals move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly, and make more money financially. So watch my recorded call topic highlighted there on your screen right now. When you're finished, go to tedkeysonline.com and hear more podcasts, read more blog posts, watch more videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. Enjoy watching and applying my Tuesday conference call. Hello and welcome everybody again to my Tuesday conference call. A uh, call I do every Tuesday, 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. A call where I show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, productively so you make more money and are more successfully financially. Okay, as you all know, every call I send out a list of emails, which I'm, I'll venture to say that most of you have uh, received those. Uh, scroll down to that message to uh, the number of attachments that I have down at the bottom. My topic for today, well, the guts of my topic today is 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. One more time, 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. I say must because if you let these phrases slide by you and you don't pick up on them, it's basically a lost opportunity in connecting with your prospect better and more efficiently. So these are phrases that must get your attention, and when they do get your attention, you can react to them more quickly. However, before I go further into my guts, I'm going to once again bring your attention to that first attachment, which is our Green Meadows Productions leaderboard, guys. It's a leaderboard that once you become a successful freight agent and you start moving loads, you will see your name appear on there. When you see that, make it a goal to climb the leaderboard. The purpose of that is once you climb, you know that you're becoming more and more successful, which obviously uh, gives you more incentive, allows you to set more goals, so you become more successfully financially, which I'm assuming that's why you have joined our team, to become more, success, more successful financially, not just in in your business, but in life in general. So let's dig into the topic uh, today. 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. As you hear me go through these phrases today or go through this topic, one of the resounding themes about my topic today is about listening. The big theme for today is about listening, and as I go through these phrases, you'll see how important it is to listen, because if you listen, when you listen, you're going to react. When you react successfully, you'll build your relationships successfully. So let's talk about these 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. Let me ask you this. Somebody drops this to you in a conversation. How would you react? And this is what they say. Quote, so, anyway, I'm only sharing this with a couple of people, but my aunt in Omaha is good friends with Warren Buffett, which is where he's located. And this is where he said she must put all of her money to invest it. Now, what would you say or do when you heard this? Well, I would venture to say that you're going to snap to attention, especially if you have money lying around that you're looking to invest it in profitable areas. One thing you're going to do is you, you're going to elevate your listening to a much higher level. You're going to zone out everything else around you, and you're going to lean in a little closer to what she actually has to say. Is that right? Is that correct? 
because you now want and must hear what is about to be said by this individual. So what caused this reaction? What caused it? Well, what caused it? It's called a lean-in statement, something that gets your attention so great that you actually stop what you're doing and you lean in to hear what you have to say. You also hear these from your freight prospects and customers as well as you're talking to them and building relationships. Do you pick up on them and react the same way, way as you would if you're about to hear the Warren Buffett comment? My, I would venture to say that you do because when you do, these are these are it's just it's almost like free information that you can take and then react off of now prospects will often let salespeople like ourselves know when they're about to reveal their problems pains and desires here's the thing i wish it was always easy as hearing the word problem but that's not usually the case people don't just come out and say hey this is my problem they say it in roundabout ways that's why it's so important that you listen while they're talking and press excuse me so with this in mind with this in mind listen for those lean in words and phrases that describe pain discomfort or dissatisfaction whether it's you know it's with their company or if it's with a, a carrier they're using a broker they're using either way here's 21 common examples of lean in statements here's 21 the first one we need to do something about we need to do something about another one we've noticed a downward trend in <clears throat> third one it's concerning us that this is happening or that's happening number four a trouble area is one second number five an area of difficulty is number six a, di a dilemma we have is number seven we worry about this we worry about that we worry about whatever it is that people worry about and let's face it, look around, there's worriers everywhere. Number eight, it's a hassle when this happens. It's a hassle when that happens. Number nine, what's frustrating is. Number 10, we've been unsuccessful at this. We've been unsuccessful at that. Number 11, we're not satisfied with this. Or we're not satisfied with that. One second. Number 12, what's disappointing is this, or what's disappointing is that. Number 13, what takes time off my hands is. Number 14, what costs us, or it costs us to do this. It costs us to do that. It costs too much to do this. It costs too much to do that. Number 15, we attempt to avoid this. We attempt to avoid brokers we attempt to avoid carriers we attempt to ship our freight we attempt to whatever it is we attempt to avoid blank fill in the fill in the fill in the space on a similar note on a similar note guys listen for prospects to visualize the result of a solution I mean l listen to them visualize the result of a solution after you after you've uh, gotten the conversation and you're continuing to keep the conversation going with them here's an example what we could use is second number two a solution would be again these are words of visualization like they're picturing this in their mind number three what we'd like to achieve is Number four, we could show a savings from. Number five, the ideal would be to, whatever that may be. Number six, we show the most benefit from. These are phrases of visualization where they're actually creating a picture in their mind. The best thing to do with all these phrases once you hear them is to keep your prospect talking. That is the number one goal in, in <coughs> Whenever you're building a, re a relationship with a prospect, it's to keep 
them talking. You keep them talking so they reveal things like this. They reveal these lean-in statements too. Now, will they say this right away, first time out? Highly unlikely. But when you keep calling them time after time, once a week in general, eventually they will start talking because they feel comfortable in talking with you. So the best thing to do with all these phrases once once you hear them is to keep your prospect talking, as I said earlier. And here's some responses to prompt the buyer or your prospect to keep doing that. What do you say? Here's what you say. Tell me more. Again, that keeps them talking. Explain that, please. Interesting. Go on. <clears throat> In what way? How else does that affect you, and how do you feel about that? These are all great comeback lines. They're all great response lines. <clears throat> once your customer, once your prospect continues to talk and reveal these pain points or these lean-in statements to you. So here's what you do. You lean in, you listen, you keep them talking, and what will happen? They'll write your sales prescription for you. 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. When they get your attention, you react accordingly. Moving on, moving on to that third attachment that I've sent you. And, the, and, and this attachment states it all goes back to our customers, to our prospects, and that is our customers are the most important people in our business. Our customers aren't dependent on us. We're dependent on them. Ever notice how our customers and prospects aren't calling us? No, we call them because we're dependent on them. We're dependent on the relationships we build with them and the loads that they allow us to move. So our customers are never, ever an interruption. They're the purpose of why we get up and work every single day. This goes hand in hand with realizing how important it is that you pick up on these statements and phrases that they will uh, that they will tell you after and during the time you're building a relationship with them moving on folks moving on fourth attachment fourth attachment again this all goes hand in hand with how important it is to actually listen to what your customers are saying especially when they're giving you this information. Because as I said earlier, over time, you know, and possibly over a short time, they're going to start revealing their pain points to you. Why? Because we all have them. If you know anybody that does not have some pain going on, well, and, and they tell you that, hey, I'm, I'm free, I, I am free of drama, Trust me, they are lying to you. We all have our pain points going on. So that is, that is your ultimate goal. But remember, when you're calling those prospects, your prospects and customers, the less you say, the better you sound. The less you say, remember, if you're not talking, that means you're listening. If you're not listening, that makes you sound so much better because most people want to tell whoever they're speaking to, their pain points, what's going on, what, you know, what went right, what went wrong. So here's what you do. You listen. The less you say, the better you sound. Moving on to that fifth attachment. Moving on to that fifth attachment. Remember when you're calling your prospects and customers, again, relating to the same topic of listening, you have two ears and one mouth. One more time. <clears throat> You have two ears and one mouth. Therefore, if you have two more than one, then close your mouth and open your ears and listen. You have two ears and one mouth. Open your, close your mouth and open your ears. That's the main point right there. <clears throat> Moving on to the next attachment, folks. Moving on to the next attachment. Remember when you're calling your prospects and customers, again, right in line with listening, your ears will always out-earn your mouth. Your ears will always out-earn your mouth. Why? Because you have to take information in. You have to take information into your brain and analyze it to see how you can best serve your customers and prospects. If you just blab, blab, blab all day, 
what are you taking in? Everything, every, all your energy is going out. Your ears will always out-earn your mouth. Remember that, remember that, remember that. Why? Because you have to take information in in order for you to provide the, 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 the answer that your customer's prospect is looking for to solve their challenge. Moving on, folks, moving on to that seventh attachment that I sent you. Moving on, remember when calling your prospects and customers that preparation plus practice equals professionalism. <clears throat> it is so easy for us to blab all day long. That, that's easy. Anybody can sit there and talk all day. But when you actually develop the skill of listening, and I'll say this, it is a skill you look so much more professional in the process. And you know what? Listening takes preparation and listening takes practice. Nobody just gets good at listening. It's actually something that you have to prepare for and practice. And when you do prepare and when you do practice it, you look so much more professional. Your prospects see that. They have no issue in building or certainly sharing information with you that continues to build that relation with you. So preparation plus, plus practice equals professionalism. Remember the three Ps. Last main point, last main point of this topic is Continually grow your business. Continually grow your business. Let me let me revert back to that agent that I asked before who just started with me, and he's already covered his first load. I specifically asked him, Matt, Matt, do you only have your 20 prospects so far? And he says, no, I'm up to 50 now. Boy, words to my ears. Just what I wanted to hear. I, after, three, after three weeks, I'm up to 50 contacts. Here's a great example to continually grow your business. Continually. You don't just stop. You continually grow it. Why do you think I have new people on the call every week? Because I'm continually looking for talented individuals that are serious and not curious about building a freight business. So continually grow your business. Always search for new prospects to drop in the pipeline replacing business that you will eventually lose. What did I just say? Business that you will eventually lose. Well, how does that happen? Trust me, it happens. Business comes and goes. It, it, it just does. I mean, can I explain it? Not fully. I, I can, you know, take a crack at it. But here's the main thing. In red, business that you will eventually lose. Obtain three new contacts daily regardless of how well your freight is moving. One of the biggest mistakes that freight agents make is when they start, uh, when they really start getting busy, they stop prospecting. They stop building their contact list. They think, hey, I've got it with the amount of customers that I have. Well, trust me, those customers will lose, uh, leave you eventually, and you will lose them. When? I don't know. I don't know the situation with every relationship that you build, but you will eventually lose customers. Will it be today? I don't know. Will it be this week? I don't know. Next week? I don't know. Next month? Next year? I don't know. But they will eventually go away. So continually grow your business. Always search for new prospects to drop in the pipeline, replacing business that you eventually lose. Obtain three new contacts daily regardless of how well your freight is moving. Very, very, very important. Let's go ahead and move on to this last attachment that I sent you folks. As you all know or may know, I am a firm believer in the Bible and what it offers. Uh, it's, a, it's a book that's been written over thousands of years by infinite offers and it all boils down to one thing. But let me talk about the topic that I'm going to talk about today. My Bible insight for today is godly freight agents understand the futility of anger. Godly freight agents understand the futility of anger. Now, what does that mean? Where does it come from? 
Well, basically, this comes from the, the book of James in the New Testament, getting toward the end of the New Testament. James chapter 1, verses 19 and 20 says, everyone, think about this. Think about this when you're about to get into an argument, when you feel like you're wronged. Everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, for man's anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Main point there is be quick to hear. Gee, didn't I just talk about listening today? Be quick to hear, slow to speak. Didn't I also talk about closing your mouth? You got one mouth and two ears, open your ears, close your mouth, and slow to anger. Keep yourself in control at all times, for man's anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Uh, how, does, how does this apply to anything? What's the application of this? The application is this. Angry words are dangerous to your emotional and spiritual health, not to mention your relationships. How many relationships, whether close and personal or a business relationship, has been uh, cut in half because angry words have been spoken? So here's what you do. You treat anger as an uninvited guest and usher it away as quickly and as quietly as possible. If you're like me, you have the opportunity throughout the day to really speak your mind to certain individuals. Well, what do you do? You hold on, and actually my, my, my saying is act as if. To me, act as if nothing has happened. So let me go through the application again. Angry words are dangerous to your emotional and spiritual health, not to mention your relationships. You never want angry words to come between you and a business relationship. Even if, uh, even if they, you know, your 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 customer tried to, you know, pull a pull a quick one on you. Treat anger as an uninvited guest and usher it away as quickly and as quietly as possible. And that is to quote Barbara Johnson, life is too short to spend it being angry, bored, and dull. Great insight on anger and how it applies biblically, straight out of the Bible. Okay, topic for today, 21... Uh, 21 phrases, 21 prospecting phrases that must get your attention. Very, very great uh, topic for today. Now, for those of you listening, anybody that has a desire to become a top-notch, top-producing freight agent, my uh, number to call is 626-309-9141. Any questions on this uh, on this conversation or on the topic of, for today's call, same number. Give me a call. I'll be happy to answer your questions. at 626-309-9141. Uh, if you have any desire to hear the recording on this, please go to tedkeysonline.com. Hit the recording or podcast button. It is updated weekly. Any questions involving our top-of-the-line LDI freight system, same number, 626-309-9141. Call and ask for Maria. She is the genius that explains how to utilize our LDI freight system. Great topic today, guys. Uh, all I can say at this point is take care. God bless you all. You've just taken a tremendous step forward by watching and applying my Tuesday conference call highlight. If you desire to earn and learn with our top freight team and Christian-based office, yes, we're searching for a self-starter who's serious, motivated, and ready to take action right now. Is that you? Go to tedkeysonline.com slash contacts and enter your contact details. We provide top-notch freight agent sales training to you. Then you deliver those same skills with confidence to the freight industry marketplace. I'll talk to you soon.